Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ikamala Munasipi on Elevatu, aka Nelified. And I hope that you guys are good because I'm good too. So as you guys can see by the title of the video, um, this is just um not a mini vlog, it's actually a vlog. Um going to be celebrating something very, very special this weekend. So yeah, I hope that you guys do stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and join this beautiful haven that we are in um right now it's like half past nine and i haven't bathed like this is just me today <laughs> crusty as hell um there's no water um uh, a water water pipe burst in my area i think in the ams and we found out at 5 a.m when my siblings were going to school so it's quite hectic it's quite hectic and i planned to shave today and like take a deep conditioning type of bath like pamper myself before i obviously go to the men's um but by the look of things i won't be able to do that like now the plan was obviously to do it um this morning before my meeting and yeah i'm very disorientated i don't know why i always speak before having breakfast but yeah i'm about to have breakfast and i'm tired <coughs> i'm still coughing but i am getting better so ra -ta -ta -ta. yeah guys so i'm not sure when the electricity will be back but right now I'm going to have breakfast. Yo, it's hot. hi guys so welcome back um please mind my eyes because i just had a mental breakdown so yeah a lot is just going on and it's actually quite good to cry but yeah i'll be fine guys um so the water's back it's just not that clean especially for drinking consumption so i'm just going to take a bath and take care of myself and shave and relax yeah you know and just prep for the weekend guys like i saw one of my piercings back on it's not even funny can you see one two three four five six seven but i don't think i'm gonna get my industrial here when I get it back, I'll put it on this side. Because this part tore, yo. Guys, if I could show you. If I could show you my ear piercing journey. It was a lot. Like, if I had pictures and videos and all of that, I would put them here. But, <sighs> it was bad. But, I love the fact that my holes are still there. I think I can still, I pierce. And, um... I'm no longer going to get the triggers. Like, I'm not going to put my triggers back because sleeping, it's very uncomfortable. Also, when you wear on my earphones. And I'm not really used to headphones. So, yeah. But, let me not ramble too much. I'm going to bath, shave, smell good, take care of myself. 
wash this hair and yeah <laughs> So guys, I am back from bathing and taking care of myself and I've even shaved like period even my legs hmm. guys like I feel like every time I shave I feel like a baby because like I'm very hairy now especially on my legs so just having to constantly feel my legs and look at my under like one thing i love about my pits is that they are not dark and to plug you guys use gani like Garnier is the way any color any flavor but use the Garnier, and you won't have to worry about dark armpits anyway I'm currently having chocolate um i also had like a small lunch noodles <laughs> nothing special to that i had noodles yeah so right now i'm just chilling in the room i'm about to watch youtube um and the reason why i'm here mm, guys so i think yesterday when i was chilling with my siblings i kind of pulled my hamstring um, muscle because oh, i can feel it <sighs> i don't like chewing so i don't like chewing chocolate so yeah that's why it's quite sticky so guys now i have a ranch now like Honestly, if you don't agree with me on this, then I don't know what planet you are living in. But as a human being, if you cannot give another person respect, how do you expect to receive it? And most, and, uh, and most importantly, if you don't even respect yourself as a person, how do you expect to even get respect from the external world? You understand? Like... Me growing up, I won't lie, yeah, I've done a lot of effed up shit. <laughs> I've done a lot of effed up shit. And I've, I've, I've acted in ways that were not aligned with my morals and my values. Obviously, acting like a lost soul, you don't know yourself, you know, you're just trying to figure yourself out. And honestly, it did lead me to a lot of... Ooh, guys, I want to be as comfortable as possible. It led me to a lot of... um bad decisions and um an ifed up mindset and this this growing entitlement of always expecting people to um do things for me or act a certain way towards me or give me things or say things or you know like i've i always not always correction back then when i didn't have respect for myself i used to always have this entitlement mentality that the world owes me and uh nothing is my fault and i'm always right and people make mistakes but obviously it's not my duty to learn from that mistake you understand that's the kind of mindset i had and growing up finding myself and you know just trying to figure out my life and who i am i've really really learned to have self-respect because i come from a family that has high morals and values and um i cannot be out here acting nonsensical and then i call myself and i come from this kind of family and things don't even align you understand so obviously growing up you do learn a lot of things and i feel like with respect it starts with yourself it starts with respecting yourself and living a life that's aligned with your morals and values and not acting like a stupid a stupid stupid yeah <laughs> that's the, the i think that's the only way i can describe it acting like a stupid stupid so how are you as a person living life 
you don't respect yourself you don't take care of yourself and then you expect people to respect you and for me respect who's disturbing me i'm doing a video memes yourself like as a person and you don't take care of yourself and you don't live your life according to your personal morals and values and also how you were raised back home how do you expect the world to give you that sort of treatment you understand and for me respect is like it's an umbrella it's very broad respect is like it's a uh, what can i call it it's a concept that's under an umbrella or it's an umbrella concept that has other factors below it, such as uh, manners, kindness, integrity, patience, trust, um, character, you know, things like that. So if you don't have those things, uh, it's actually quite dumb for you to expect it from the world, you know. And I want to just focus on respect especially aligned with manners and kindness as a person eh, if you can't even utter or continuously practice how to say please and thank you and then you expect people to respect you darling like no count me out count me out like i i not only cringe but i get really disgusted it's like i could puke when umuntu uh agana like aganumbele, huh? What do you call it? Very bad. Like, but <laughs> you'll see what I mean, guys. But yeah, like if you don't have respect, osloni pi okoni, okoni um, okonu kela, and at the same time, you don't even have like that gratitude to continuously and practice to say thank you. Stop expecting people to respect you. It starts with you and also with being kind. Like, you know, manners go with kindness. Like, all of these things intertwine together. That is why I say respect is like a, a, a concept which is an umbrella, you know? So, if you can't even say please or thank you, what kind of a human are you, you know? You can't just be demanding things, um... Uh, acting in a nonsensical way and then at the same time uh, you rude to people how go aliba to you your, your tone it's like uh, you fighting you know how do you expect for people to treat you like I just don't get it and if you guys <laughs> have any thoughts on this like please do comment down below and let's engage and teach each other and learn from each other like i always say you know this is a this space that i'm trying to create is a haven where not only do we learn from each other but we get to express ourselves freely and just being real like that's just how i am i'm an aries and fakeness and being happy Fakeness, disrespect, nonsensical bullshit is something that is not in my character and not in my brand. You understand? So, yeah, guys, this is just my quick rant because, like, the sun is even ruining my lighting. Oh, Nambra, okay. <laughs> but yeah like guys respect starts with yourself it starts from inside like if you don't respect yourself you don't know how to say please and thank you to yourself um you're not kind to yourself in the way you talk to yourself how do you expect for people to do that towards you you understand it's really a two-way street and also um one last quick rant is when when you are when you are socializing in, in, in relationships, whether it's it's a romantic relationship with a family member, with a peer, colleague, or even friends, the way you act shows your character, right? Right. 
now if you act in a way that's not even aligning with your morals and values and you also have relationships with abangani family colleagues like i said at the beginning how how do you expect what's the word how do you expect to live a, a, a quality of life you know like it's it's i find it really confusing when you have people and the way that you when you have people in your life and then the way you act is not really aligned with those people you know right now i feel like i'm not making sense but in my head i'm making sense and it's a rant because right now my heart is boiling trying to understand this whole concept of respect that should be received only from one side you know so yeah guys honestly if you don't respect people if you don't give yourself respect stop expecting people to respect you if you don't say please and thank you on a daily basis stop expecting people to treat you with 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 thankfulness with gratitude with respect with high integrity and all of that no like just stop so yeah man that's me <laughs> yeah guys guys welcome back to my youtube channel Gamalam Nasib Analavaku aka Nilified and I am finally here with my mans you should see what he's doing right now he's so freaking excited anyway guys oh my word flip this is how I look cute um so I took an uber ne? I actually took bolt and I was supposed to pay 37 rand. I chose the cash for option. <laughs> I chose the option for cash because I wanted to make a quick stop before coming to my destination. Aha, uh Khanti. -huh, Where I wanted to make my stop. Those people went there. So it increased from 37 to 86. The fudge. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my class, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> okay! 
Please hold. Yo, guys. Oh my god. So I'm like really. I'm very much disappointed, but it's okay. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a few. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe yes. to this beautiful haven of yes. mine. Bye! <laughs>
What else, man? I want peanut butter. Is there tea at home? There is. The first this one wants peanut butter. I got a, are we even allowed to ask they don't eat? Pumi gaji. I'm bleeding. Pumi gaji. No, it's not here. Cry, baby. Let's go this way again. And like... Okay, guys. Catch y'all later. So guys, we are at the bottle store and um, contemplating. contemplating on whether to buy Scottish Lida. whiskey, kappa, vodka. And I'm convincing her to buy this one. And both of them are on our pro uh, thingy, they're in the budget, ne? Mm. The only problem is that one, it's not even a problem, the difference is one is a 750, the and other is a sweet, one liter. And sweet and smooth. The other one is a liter, it's Russian bear and it's sour and strong. And also a dash, it's one and the same thing. We can buy ginger beer and stuff. And so yeah, guys. Um, for a change. Do She's com never had this. Comment down below on which one we ended up taking. Plus, we also need to buy like sizes for the This is how I look for the night, guys. We are about to leave and celebrate anniversary. It's the anniversary. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's the anniversary. It's the anniversary too. <laughs> <laughs>
guys, so we're at the mall right now. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's so dirty, my phone. And Panaruti is still open. <laughs> so, guys, we're um, looking no, this way. for Cappy Take right now. So, yeah. I, I forgot this mall. It's been a long time yeah, here. So guys, yeah, we at Mall at New Market. Look at the lighting, how bad it is. Look at me. <laughs> look at me, don't look at the mall. Look at me. <laughs> anyway, guys, follow me on Instagram at Nellified with a Y. And follow me on TikTok. It's Boy Wonder. The boy who does wonderful, wonder, wonder, wonderful things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> to get drunk like ah, and today was supposed to be like where we celebrate but i'm not that bummed why yeah. because tomorrow is the actual day so tomorrow is our day whether they like it or not i'm not about to be distracted okay tomorrow we're going to the movies tomorrow we're having our dinner at broken mamas tomorrow we are celebrating us yeah things things didn't go as planned for today but it's actually not that pretty bad guys it's I know, you, but that's why now that we could have spoken, I can't say it, and we didn't talk. And we didn't talk, but you know what? That's man. He says, that's man. That's man. That's man. That's man. That's man. I mean, when it comes to planning, yeah. plans are not, but anyway. Yeah. The afternoon, we were working on some car, me and my brother. So, like, the nigga was supposed to, like, at least give us a deposit of 50%, but he hasn't sent the money as of yet. Hence, Everything is going sideways right now, but it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But still, could have been let known that I, I want my outfit. Guys, look how cute I look. Yeah. <laughs> 